Question number 10. The figure shows a curve with the equation f of x where f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 into x minus 3 whole square. Part A. Deduce the values of x for which f of x less than or equal to 0. The question carries two marks. Okay, here they want you to find the values of x which satisfy this inequality f of x less than or equal to 0. So when you take a look at the graph, here the graph takes only positive value because y is positive. The, graph, the function becomes negative when the curve goes below the x-axis. So this part. So the corresponding x value, the corresponding x value is this. That's what we need. So we need this point. We need this point. So when you solve this function, when you take it as equal to 0, you will get two x values, minus 5 upon 2, and x is equal to 3 comma 3, two equal solution. So in, in sketching the graph, cubic graph, we, le we learned if you have two equal roots, the cubic graph will touch the x-axis at the value where you have two equal roots. That tells us that this point, because this is where the curve touches and leaving the x-axis, so this is supposed to be 3, and this point is supposed to be minus 5 upon 2. So that's it, we got the solution of it. Now, the function le is less than 0, the function is less than 0 when x takes the value anything lesser than minus 5 upon 2. This 5 upon 2 also included because at the particular point the function is 0. So your x value will be less than or equal to minus 5 upon 2. Don't put greater than or equal to. Greater than means we are talking about this x values. Here the function takes only positive values. But if you take anything lesser than minus 5 by 2, the value of the function is negative. So this is our solution. Part B. Expand f of x to the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, where a, b, c, d are integers. This question carries three marks. So here what we are going to do, we are going to remove the brackets and expand them. Keep 2x plus 5 as it is and write it as two brackets and multiply them or you can apply the algebraic identity a minus b whole square which is a square minus 2ab plus b square. 3 square is 9. If you don't want to apply the identity, write it as x minus 3 into x minus 3 and multiply it. Now take 2x and multiply everything. 2x cubed minus 12x square, 2x times 9 is 18x. Take 5 and multiply everything. 5x square minus 30x plus 45. Now it's all about simplifying like terms, 2x cubed and you have minus 12x squared and 5x squared. Minus 12 plus 5 is minus 7x squared. 18 minus 30 is minus 12x plus 45. So this is our f of x. Your a is 2, b is minus 7, c is minus 12. And D is 45. That's it. Just expand the bracket and you got the solution of it. Part C. Hence or otherwise find the coordinates of P. And number 2. Uh, the gradient of the curve at P. The question carries 2 marks. Part C. There are like 2 questions. The first question is. Find the coordinates of point P. That means this Y intersect. So we know this is the function. If you want to find the y-intercept, replace x by 0. So these three terms will be 0. Y-intercept is 45. You can straight away write it's 45. So when you are given a function and they ask you to find the y-intercept, always replace x by 0. So the constant term will be the y-intercept. Now they want you to find the gradient of the tangent at the point P. So how do we find the gradient value at P? Differentiate the function f dash of x is 2 times, when you differentiate x cubed, it's 3x squared minus 7 times 
when you differentiate x square, it's 2x minus 12, 45 will become 0. And replace x by the x coordinate 0. So your f dash of x at the point p of 0, 45 is equal to minus 12. Because if you replace x by 0, everything will become 0. This is your gradient. That's it. Now, the curve with the equation f of x is translated two units in the positive x direction to a curve with the equation y equals g of x. So, d question number 1, find g of x, giving you answer in a simplified factorized form. Then the second question, hence, state the y-intercept of the curve with the equation y equals g of x. The question carries three marks. Now, in part d, we are translating this graph to the positive direction of x-axis, two units. So when you, in graphs and transformation, we learn if a graph is being translated to the positive direction of x-axis, the function will become x minus a. It is translated a units. In this case, f of x will become f of x minus two because we are translating the graph to the right side two units so x replace x by x minus 2 in the function so it will become 2 into x minus 2 plus 5 and then x minus 2 minus 3 also oh, i replace x by x minus 2 and then just simplify it it will become 2x minus 4 plus 5 here x minus 2 minus 3 whole square. So it will become 2x plus 1 into x minus 5 whole square. Do not remove the bracket because when you read the question carefully, it says write the function in the factorized form. So this is our factorized form. So don't ever remove the bracket. Keep it as it is. That's our new function g of x. Now the second part, they want you to find the y-intercept of g of x. How do we find the y-intercept? Replace x by 0. So when you replace x by 0, this will become 0. So you will have 0 plus 1. Here it will become 0 minus 5 whole square. Or 1 times minus 5 square is 25. That's the y-intercept of the new graph. 